morning guys happy saturday i just got back from my ww meeting and also from trader joe's today i wanted to get some more cheese so i went over to trader joe's and i went way over budget way 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 over budget um my budget is 100 bucks and i spent 150 dollars um and you know it's hard to know where you're at when you're putting stuff in the car and by the time she's ringing it up, I'm like, what am I going to do? Be like, no, wait, no, stop. I can only spend a hundred bucks. So yeah. So I went over, I got a lot of good stuff though. Um, so I'm just going to have to keep that in mind next week and try to spend a little bit less. Um, I, I actually have so much stuff that I have, you know how I usually have it on the Island. I also have some over here on the counter that didn't fit on the Island. So my WW meeting was good. I'm down 0.2, which is a shock because this was a really stressful week for me. Um, I didn't track anything and I ate horribly. I had a Cadbury egg um, and then other junk. I just, I didn't eat meals for a lot of the days. I just ate junk. I found these chocolate goldfish crackers and I ate almost the whole bag yesterday, uh, the day before weigh-in. So I'm shocked I'm down that 0.2. So... It's a new day today. I'm starting over. I have already tracked what I've eaten so far. I packed a little snack pack of some fruits and vegetables and a little cheese to bring to my meeting and Trader Joe's because I get hungry. It's a long time out of the house. So I'm already tracking back to tracking today. So this is going to be a better week. And um, I guess I'm glad I didn't have a game this week. Um, I should have because of how I ate, but I didn't. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. Okay, here's what we got. I'll start with the produce. Um, got some bananas. This is all going to be zero points. I got some tomatoes for some sandwiches I'm going to be making this week. I got this. This is interesting. It's, um, I don't know what that's called, but it's got kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. So I thought that's going to be real interesting to um, add to some regular romaine to make a nice fun salad and those are both zero points and then i got the mini cucumbers you guys know my girls love those i got the carrots i'm being really lazy with my carrots lately buying the already cut and peeled ones but whatever it's easier and then i got some pineapple spears uh if you guys watched my meal prep video for this past week i had bought a fruit pack um i always thought i didn't like pineapples but I ate the pineapples and I loved them. So I got some more pineapples to eat this week. And then I got some nice fresh green beans. Um, I'll cook some up and then whatever I don't cook right away, I'm probably gonna freeze just so that they last longer. And then I got some of my mini peppers and all these produce are zero points. And then I got some more of my rainbow cauliflower. So this is my favorite little thing. I take this and put this in the air fryer. I spray a little bit of my zero point olive oil spray, a little salt, maybe some pepper sometimes, and roast it till it gets nice and crispy. Oh my gosh, they're so delicious and it's a zero point snack. And then I got some broccoli florets. I'm gonna try and do the broccoli in the air fryer this week too and see how I like it. I don't know why I, when I did the fresh cauliflower it didn't taste as good, so the frozen one I think it's better. Um, I got these. This is something interesting to try. It's vegetable bird's nest. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. It's two points of serving. And it has um, onion, carrot, kale, tempura batter, soybean oil, salt, glucose, beta carotene. Anyways, it's two points for one nest. I thought it would be something interesting to try for something new. And then I got a bag of frozen red, yellow, and green peppers. And then I got some French fries. And you know what? I forgot to scan the fries. The fries are four points of serving. I guess that's typical for most French fries. And those come out really good in the air fryer also. Um, and then I got this chicken fried rice. This is really good. It's four points for a cup. And then I can throw in more of these other frozen vegetables to really bulk it up more. Um, and it'll be like a really nice, easy lunch for a few days this week. And then I got some cheese. The reason I went back was I needed some more light shredded mozzarella. So I always get two and I'll freeze one. And then I saw they had the light Mexican blend. Oh, and the mozzarella is one point per serving. 
and I scanned these and the light Mexican blend was two points a serving. So I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm like two points for cheddar cheese style. I'm gonna take it. So I got two of those too, so I'll freeze one. And then the only sharp cheddar slices they had for my husband were these, and those are actually four points a slice, but which is even worse, but they're really, really thick slices. So he could probably get away with only one slice on his English muffin instead of two. I don't know, we'll see. And then I got this multi-grain sourdough bread. Oh my gosh, I don't know, can you guys see how big these pieces are? And they're two points per piece. So you can actually take one and cut it in half if you want to make a sandwich. I like using these for open face sandwiches with some bruschetta and some mozzarella on them. Oh yeah, Kayla's telling me that the kitty cat is here. Come here. Yeah, yeah Houdini's out for a walk with daddy, so he's here. So yeah, that's the sweet bread. And then I got two different kinds of British muffins for um us this week these are whole wheat and these are multi-grain they're both three points per muffin which is not too bad he's on the stove can you get off my stove kitty cat i know get off my stove Aww. yeah kayla's not used to seeing the cat down here ever since we got the puppy he hangs out upstairs a lot okay on to the meats so we got some bacon these are two points for two slices and it's attracted to your food he is yeah so these are two points for two also slices also got this all natural lean beef stew meat i am not 100 percent sure of the points on this i had a hard time looking it up i'm thinking it's either three or four points a serving um I have to do more research on that. And then I got some pork loin chops. Those are four points per serving. I did also get some just grilled strips. Those are zero points. That's the frozen kind. They like add on top of salads or whatnot. Um, so that's what I got for me. Sweet treats. I got some of these fig bites. They are five points for two, which is not bad. Me and my older daughter love fig bites. And then I got these, those are, I guess are like an Oreo cookie, the Trader Joe's brand. Those are six points for two cookies. And then I got some more of my chocolate covered strawberries, which I absolutely love. And you keep these frozen and you eat them frozen too. And they are one point per strawberry. And then these I got, you can see I opened it already. I tried one. Actually, I got to get these in the freezer because they're starting to melt. They are mini mint ice cream mouthfuls. Basically what it is, it's like an Oreo cookie, but instead of the cream, it's got a mint flavored ice cream inside. And oh my God, it's so good. And they're five points for two, which is not bad at all. So it's three points if you have one, which is what I had. And it's five points if you have two. And then I got these for the kids. Um, these little gummy fish or whatever they are, they're one point per fish. So that'll be a nice sweet treat for them. And then I got some taco seasoning mix to make tacos one night this week. And along with that, I got some taco shells. The Trader Joe's taco shells are two points a shell. Um, I like all these ones better because you can have three of them for you can have two of them for three points okay. and then we got some um organic jasmine rice and that is five points for one cup which is not too bad um and that's the nice easy microwavable one i couldn't find the one i got from all these again so i'm glad i found this one it's pretty good and then i got these little brioche toasts these are one point each and i have some bruschetta that i'm gonna put on that plus with this light shredded mozzarella oh, those are gonna be so good and then I got these frozen mini chicken tacos to try. Those are five points for four tacos, which is not bad at all for a, a lunch or, or an easy dinner. And then I got this cookie butter. I really don't know what I'm going to do with cookie butter. Um, if you see, it says that it's a deliciously unusual spread reminiscent of gingerbread and made with crushed biscuits. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it just looked really good and it sounded good. And it's four points for a tablespoon, so I figure a half a tablespoon is only two points. That's not too bad. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to try it and see how it is and what I should use it for and figure something out with it. I don't know. That's just one of those impulse buy type things. Um, and then I got some minced garlic. I don't ever really buy this kind of garlic. I usually just use garlic seasoning, but I figure this might be a little bit better. Um, it's fresher. 
And then I got some pasta noodles, six points per serving. And then I got some milk for my son, that's five points per serving. And then all the way over here, uh, they had the cauliflower crust. So I got this, try it out. It is two points for a quarter of the pizza. So that's not bad. So really the whole thing is eight points. And then if you use like my zero point marinara recipe, which I'll link up above, the cat is here. Sorry guys. It, and the light mozzarella, you can have basically this whole pizza for probably like 10 points, depending how much cheese you put on it. Um, and then we got some toilet paper because we're running out of toilet paper. And then all my salty snacks. I got these sour cream and onion corn puffs. Those are four points. Um, and the serving size is two and a half cups, which is a pretty big serving size. Um, I, it's hard to measure out these with a cup measuring thing, so I would probably do the 28 gram on the food scale to get an accurate measurement. And then I found these kettle cooked potato chips. They reminded me of the chips you get at, um, what's it called, Panera. And they're four points per bag. Um, so I thought those are good because they're already pre-portioned. <laughs> I know you haven't been in my videos in a while. Those are pre-portioned out already for you. Um, so yeah, they're four points per bag. And then we got some um, corn tortilla chips. Those are four points per serving. And we got some of the Trader Joe's queso dip to go with it. And this is the same as the, all these queso dip. It is one point per serving and a serving is two tablespoons. So I'm excited to try the Trader Joe's brand. Okay guys, so that's everything I got from Trader Joe's. It's a lot, I know. Next week I'm gonna have to be careful planning out my food and using up what I have so I can try and um, recap the extra money I spent in this week's budget. Um, so I just wanted to point out also, I listened to the song on the car ride home from Trader Joe's. It's called Cinderella. Um, and I'm going to put the name of the uh, artist across the screen because I can't think of it right now. But it's a beautiful song and it's about, you know, spending time with your kids and then, you know, they grow before you know it and stuff. And the artist was talking about this song and he actually wrote this song not even a few months before his daughter passed away. Um, oh, he didn't know it was going to happen. It was sudden and, and stuff. And for a while, he, you know, the song was tough for him. And I don't know. I was just, my, I had tears flowing and stuff. And so anyways, I made a goal for myself for this week. This week, I'm going to focus on spending time with my kids. Um, each of them individually, giving them one-on-one -on -one attention. I have three kids, for those of you who don't know. My son is 14, and my daughter is 11, and my other one is four. Almost five. She'll be five in April. Um, yeah, and she's starting kindergarten in September. So we're really excited for that. You are two four. She said, I'm not four. She's four and a half. You're a little bit more than four and a half. But so anyways, um, let me know down in the comments below what you guys are working towards this week. I'm working on, um, like I said, spending time with the kids and also being sure I track everything. Even if I go overboard and eat beyond my points. I want to make sure I track it all and put it in my tracker so I can be accountable for it and move on. And um, for those of you who don't go to meetings, this is the weekly for this week. It's try a reality check. And I'll hold it here for a second so you can take a look. You can freeze it if you want to read it. Um, but basically, it's like, you know, you think, you feel, and you do. And really, it's just having giving yourself a reality check. Like, stop and say, okay, just because I ate bad today, it doesn't mean I'm ruined forever, you know, or, or even for the rest of the day. I can stop and refocus myself and do better and go on, you know. Um, so that was the lesson for today. And there's this nice recipe on the back, which I'm not going to try because, yeah, I don't like eggs. And as soon as I see eggs on something, it just turns me off. But so anyways, I hope everybody has a good week and I will see you on my next video. Bye.